What's up glue sniffers? You probably saw the video of the desert scene, right? Well, if you didn't, go and check it out. It's a nice 20 minute piece of step by step instructions about doing it. And at the end a palm tree appeared. Well, as I said, it wasn't finished at all. And today we will concentrate on it. And I will show you the entire process. Let's go to work. Here is our mock-up tree for the composition. We don't need it anymore. For the trunk construction I used copper wire, a nice thick one for the core and a thinner one for around the core. First I took down some insulation so now we have a mounting pin. Both wires are solid copper which means one single piece of copper inside. The core one must be like that. The thin one is not so important. I started to wrap the thin cable around the core. Some extra thin CA was used for the start. And pretty soon I was at this point. There is no need to make an even coil, but even this is not so important at the moment. Again, some glue to fix the end. Some even thinner wire was used to give volume to the bottom part. As you can see, you can create any shape and volume you want this way. Time to check the height. This is probably too tall. Let's cut away a part of it. The solid copper core allows you to bend the trunk in any shape you need. I coated them with PVA to prepare the surface for the modeling clay. In this project I was using the kitchen oven a lot to speed things up. 10 minutes at 50 degrees and the PVA is dry. I like my trees to be removable from the scene. So now it's time to make a mounting hole. I just added masking tape to the pin until it fit the styrene tube. I drilled the hole through the 2mm dust cover. The hole was slightly smaller than the tube. Then I took an even smaller drill and drilled through the styrofoam. I pressed the tube in and the fit was so tight that I didn't even need glue. Now our trunk has it whole and we can put it on and take it off as many times as we want. It's time to add some volume to the trunk. We will use Das Pronto, it's my favorite modeling clay at the moment. Tap water will be the medium and brushes will be the tools. The properties of the dust were covered in the previous terrain video, so I will not bother you with them again. Just make a thin pancake cut out a rectangular piece and wrap it around the trunk. Adjust the thickness of the pancake in order to obtain the volume you want. In the end, just smooth it with wet fingers. The thickness of the dust is always the same and the wire underneath it drives the shape of the trunk. Now it's time to give it some texture. Wet the silicone sculpting brush and start adding some random indentations. You have all the time you want. If the surface is too hard, just wet it a little bit. If it's too soft, wait a minute or two. Easy peasy. I think that this deserves a like and a subscribe, don't you think? Also, be sure to turn on the bell icon so you will know when something new happens. Thank you! Let's do the upper part of the trunk. I added some wire skeleton because there will be a big chunk of clay on top and I didn't want to fold it away later. Why don't we just do the top the same way we did the bottom, huh? Well, I will leave you to figure it out by yourself. Again some texture. First, I made some indentations to do the transition. And then I changed the silicone brush and did uh, this. I don't know what this is, but it seemed right to me that way. We should do some foliage too. I took some straight pieces of 0.6mm brass wire and arranged them on a piece of paper. Then I covered them with masking tape. Be sure to trace the wire with your nails. Then I draw some leaf shapes on the masking tape. 
a hobby knife was used to cut them out. I took the curved nail cutters from my children and started cutting out the shape. Here I took some great artistic license with the shape. Real palm leaves are not like this and you should look at some reference pictures to do this right. I just wanted something quick and easy to do, so we will call this a fantasy palm tree. However, if you put in a little more effort to cut the right leaves, the process will be correct. The palm tree parts, like the base, were primed with black Amo by MiG one-shot primer. Now we will start the painting process. The trunk received a coat of stone grey, a nice overall coverage. The top and bottom part were painted with earth brown. For the leaves, green base was used. And here I didn't go for a complete coverage. Airbrushing done, it's time to switch to brushes. The leaves were finished with dry brushing. First, an overall highlight coat of green base and yellow. Then some dunkel brown on the end of the leaves. All the colors are used without thinning. The next one was stone grey, just on the tips of the leaves. And at the end a brush with a little isopropanol to blend everything together. Again, the whole theory about why specific products should be used is covered in the terrain video. Go and check it out. The entire trunk was covered with the same filter as the terrain. While this was still wet, a heavy wash was applied into the indentations. When this was dry, a more selective pin wash was applied. Some great news! We have two new Patreons in the team. Welcome, David Clerman and Mick Hancock. If you want to join my Diorama Tutorial community for a small amount of money, pay a visit to my Patreon page. The link is in the descriptions. Also, a big thank you to all of my other Patreons. Your support is fantastic. Let's finish that trunk now. After another 10 minutes in the oven, a light dry brush with stone grey was applied to bring out the texture. Now we will mount some leaves. 0.7 mm holes were drilled into the upper part of the trunk. Now you can see why the top was made in a different way, right? Because of the wire in the leaves, you can easily bend them into any shape you need. The result is very nice in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. We will glue the leaves with medium CA. Just cut away the excess wire, dip the end into the CA and put the leaf in place. This is the palm tree that you saw in the previous video. It's time to add some hairy stuff to the top. A dry seagrass ball was used for this. You just have to take some big pieces out of it. The gluing was done with a mix of PVA and water. Just apply some dots and sprinkle the grass on top. Repeat the process a few times until you are happy with the density. To finish the leaves a heavy wash was applied around the wire. Another thing, this wire should be underneath the leaf and not on top of it. But then the leaves would look a bit boring, don't you think? The palm from the previous video was missing quite a few leaves, so now I have added the additional ones. And the tree is done. But we have another thing to do. I quickly turned two of the remaining leaves into dry ones. First, a heavy dry brush of dunkel brown. And then a lighter one of stone grey. We have a proverb in Slovenia. Actually, we have many of those, but anyway. Where the donkey is laying, there should be some hair. Meaning, you probably get it, right? Under the palm, there should be some signs of it. So, 
First I destroyed the leaves a little bit and put them in place with PVA. Then I sprinkled some seagrass on top. I think it is a nice touch. The grass was glued with shinic glue. Finally, some buff all brush color was dry brushed on the leaves to bring them out a little more. Let's put the scene together. I must admit that I am quite happy with how it turned out. And here we go with the final shots. I will thank you again for all of your likes, subscriptions and comments. Also, the Patreon team is getting bigger. This is the only way for me to keep doing this because I'm trying to do this as a job. You can also help me by sharing my work with your friends on other social media. Slowly the channel will grow and I will be able to give you better content and better footage and everything will be better. I think that the Panzer II will be the next step. Until the next one, stay healthy, stay cool and I wish you some nice workbench time. Diorama Devil loves you. Bye.